Okay, we have a good one here today from the UK Integration B 2024, problem nine. We have the integral from zero to infinity, e minus x over x squared times three x minus one plus e minus three x dx. Okay, you may already notice that this one is actually really, really similar to one, another one from the same Integration B that I did just a little while ago. And I did consider skipping this one just because it's so similar to that other problem. But there was an interesting suggestion in the comments from Duran Esri that we could just do this whole thing using Laplace transforms. So to get started with it, I'm just going to rewrite this and do kind of a simpler problem because our, our really our whole problem with this is x squared. Without the x squared, we've got a pretty straightforward Laplace transform. So let me just write it that way for a moment. So writing it this way, just kind of ignoring the x squared for a second, this is going to be like this is going to be all of our input into the Laplace transform. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the Laplace transform, and I can break it up on the plus and minuses. So this is gonna be the same thing as the Laplace transform of three X minus Laplace transform of one, plus the last part, Laplace transform E minus three X. But then for each of these, we've got formulas down here on the right that we can use. So the constant here, like the three can come up front. So we're just gonna multiply everything times three here and we can view the power on the x as one, like the n value here. So this is gonna be three. One factorial is just one, and then plug the one in here and we get s squared. For the Laplace transform one, we can use the same formula with n equal to zero because zero factorial is one, so this is gonna be just one over s right here. And then for this last one, we use this formula where the a value is minus three, plug it in here and we get one over s plus three. And one thing I forget a lot is to put this S in here. It is a little different. We want this, for this to be a Laplace transform, we need something in terms of S, so this should be E minus SX. As I do this, I'm gonna to wanna to create an S in each of these integrals, and then what we'll do is we'll just assume that S equals one in the end. That way we're not changing the problem because in the original problem, we just have a one here. Okay, so now this is good for the problem we have here, but what about we just ignored this X squared part? Well, what I want to do is take it in pieces. Instead of jumping right to x squared, let's look at the same thing. But what I'm going to do is just multiply in 1x. So we'll have it at, we'll have it like this. So now for this integral here, what you'll notice is it's in this form. We still have the e minus sx. So I still can view this as a Laplace transform. Here are the variables t. What I can do is coming back here what we'll do is we'll call this f of x so this is the same thing right here this is f of x and so and so the t this is just our x in the denominator so this is exactly like this here then on the right side of the equation notice we've got this capital f so for this capital f u what we can do is so typically if we take the laplace transform of just f of t this would be big f of s so here with big f of u all we've done is a variable change so like this right here is our big F of S. So then with this integral here, I wanna go right to this formula and write this in terms of a different integral from S to infinity. Our big F of U, so all I need to do is a variable change on all this stuff. So I can write it as three over U squared minus one over U plus one over U plus three DU. Go ahead and integrate all this. We get minus three over U minus natural log of U we're assuming our s value is going to be greater than zero, therefore our u value is greater than zero, so no absolute value. And then this one's going to be natural log u plus three, evaluated from s to infinity. So now when you plug infinity in here, that's clearly going to zero. I can, log properties, let's kind of smash these together and we'll have ln u plus three over u, but remember u is going to infinity here. Well, with u going to infinity, what's inside here is going to one. Natural log of one is zero, so this piece is going away. Then for the second part, evaluating at s, we've got minus in front here, minus three over s, minus ln of s, and then plus ln s plus three. Then let's just distribute this minus sign into everything, just change the signs. And so everything we have right here, this stuff is going to be our solution in terms of S for this Laplace transform or this integral right here. And now we've got our solution for this, but the only problem is we're still just dealing with X and we need to boost it to X squared. All we need to do is come back and just use the same formula again. So now what I can do is rewrite it, multiply it another one over X, and that should look more like this. 
Okay, so now on this right, I've kind of written it a little funny where I've broken it up. I could have just wrote this as x squared, right? But I only did it this way to make it clear that we can use this formula. So now like I'm redefining it where all of this piece right here is gonna be our f of x. You know, if it's confusing that we already used f of x, we could change variables. I call this g of x or g of t or whatever is gonna make it intuitive. But this is gonna be the numerator in here. We have our e minus sx still, so it's still a Laplace transform. And now we're dividing by the x, like we're dividing by t right here. And so we can still go ahead and use this formula. And what it's gonna be is like this piece right here, this is gonna be the big f of s value we're using in this. So what we have for all this is it's just gonna be the integral from s to infinity of all this, but we're changing the variable to a u. So this will be ln u and then minus ln u plus three. So here we'll just go ahead and integrate this. So the first one's gonna be three natural log of u. I'm gonna use a formula on this and this. So for natural log of u, this is gonna be plus u ln u minus u. Here, same kind of thing, but we've got the input here. You could do a substitution to do it, but I'm just gonna kind of do it on the fly and distribute the minus sign. And so it's gonna be minus u plus three natural log u plus three, minus u plus three, but distribute the minus and it becomes plus u plus three. And then we need to evaluate this from s to infinity. And so all we need to do is just evaluate this big expression in order to finish it off. Again, keeping in mind that our s value is just equal to one. And you know what I could do is I could probably just do it. Why don't we just do it at this point and plug in the one now and speed up our evaluation. So we'll evaluate this from one to infinity. Now, before I try to evaluate this, let's try to get some simplification. So I cancel u with minus u here, that's just zero. Then out here, let's see, so we have ln u in common. So I can write this as u plus three times ln u. And then over here, we've got minus u plus three ln u plus three, and then we go to plus three. Let's factor out the u plus three and use log properties on it. So we end up with ln u over u plus three. But I think what I want to do is flip this fraction. And what I can do is bring a minus up front, just because you notice if you have a minus one power, it flips that and gives you the reciprocal. So I can write this as u plus three over u now. Now I think we're ready to evaluate, but this thing right here at infinity is kind of tricky because what happens is this piece is going to one when you plug in infinity right here, natural log of one zero, but then you got infinity up front. So what you have is an indeterminate form. So what I'm going to do is try to evaluate this limit more carefully. We're going to have, we want the limit as u is going to infinity. I'll take the minus sign out front, but then I'll bring the u plus 3 into the exponent. So what's going to happen is we have u plus 3 over u to the u plus 3. And sorry, this is all inside the natural log. And actually, I want to write this a different way. Like if we divide the u in, I can write this as 1 plus 3 over u. And then we have this as u plus three in the exponent. But because we're adding in the exponent, I can break this up and write it like this, one plus three over u, it's just to the three. So all this is in the natural log. If we're multiplying in the natural log, I can make it into addition. So I can write it like ln one plus three over u to the u plus natural log of this thing right here. So for our limit, let's take it and write it like this. But now writing it this way, the second one becomes easy because this piece right here is going to zero. So then everything in here is going to one. Natural log of one is just zero. So this whole limit at the end here, this is just going off to zero. We don't have to worry about that. Then on this piece right here with the exponent, we can use this formula over here. This may be more familiar when like we just have a one here instead of a three. And so in that case, if A is one and B is one, this is just E. But when we have something on the coefficient, something in the numerator here, we can use this formula. It's going to be e to the ab. The coefficient on the u is just 1, and we've got a 3 here. So this piece right here, minus up front, all this stuff inside the natural log is going to become just e to the a minus b, or just e cubed. Log properties bring the 3 in front. Natural log of e is just 1, so this thing is minus 3. And so doing our evaluation at infinity, what we get is minus three for the whole first part, plus three, and then we're gonna have minus evaluated at one. Of course, this right here is going to zero. 
So now we just need to plug in one. We've got the minus out front. One plus three is four. Here we're gonna have natural log of four over one. And then we just have this plus three on the end. But minus times minus is plus. Distribute the minus into the three here and we get minus three. We could leave it, but let's take the four into the exponent. Four to the four is 256. So for my final solution is we just get natural log 256 minus three, and that's it. Okay, so there you go. It still took quite a bit of work, but I think I prefer this method using Laplace transforms to what I did in the other video, which was Feynman's trick. Both methods are really similar, but I think it's just a little easier to evaluate with the Laplace transform. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.